The list view is unique to the iPhone and iPod Touch devices. It shows a summary of the events or appointments scheduled for each day. How do you get the list view if you're not already there? Here we're starting from year view. Tap a month reference, tap a specific day reference, then tap the list view icon in the upper right. The icon will appear highlighted in red when selected. Let's focus on the attributes of the list view for a moment. Then we'll talk a bit about navigating within the calendar. What makes the list view different from the other views? The list view shows a list of appointments for a span of dates. As you can see here, I can see my events for January 29th through part of February 1st. As we touch the screen and drag up, we see a list of appointments for dates in the future. Dragging down allows us to see appointments from dates in the past. In addition, the time each appointment starts and ends appears sequentially down the screen in date and time order. And the calendar color to which the event or appointment is assigned appears next to the time. The current day appears in red as shown here. Think of the purpose and function of a meeting agenda to help you remember list view. It provides a list of the appointments for that particular day, one after the other, from the first to the last appointment of the day. This view is best used to see all upcoming appointments for the current day, as well as past and future days in a simple list. Let's make some cognitive connections based on what we've learned about finding the list view. You probably won't be starting from the year view on a regular basis. So how do you get to the list view from the month view or the day view? If we know that the list view is based on events scheduled on a particular day, but it also lets us scroll through the past and into the future, where do we need to go from month view? You're right, we need to tap on a specific day. But wait a minute, this isn't the list view. Scan the day view screen and look for the icon that represents the list view. What tells us it's the list view? That bulleted list icon is the visual icon we should be looking for. Tap that icon to reveal the list view. Guess what? From the Making Cognitive Connections approach, we just worked on problem solving, visual discrimination, sequencing, and decision making. Once we've explored the various calendar views in upcoming videos, We'll have some give-it-a-try activities to practice navigating the calendar views.